When you're alive, you never think about death and what happens to you. But when you do die and realize that you're still there, that your spirit hasn't left your body, that you can feel everything around you, that's when you realize that there are a lot of things worse than death. Then you wonder what's worse, getting burned and feeling your skin inch by inch being scorched by the hottest fire, or being buried and day by day seeing the worms eat your flesh off piece by piece. That is the true terror of death that I just now have realized. No, it really sucks what happened to Dad. I can't believe this old man's made just come up here this late. Poor Dad. What do you mean, poor Dad? It was his time already. Don't talk about him like that. It was our father. Only when he remembered it. What's your problem, man? My problem is that we haven't seen him in five years, and now we see him like this? I didn't see you complaining when you kept giving him money every month. Yeah, Mom's money. Listen, man. You know it wasn't his fault that she died. You know he loved her. Yeah, he loved her, so that he went and married someone else the next year. Can't expect him to be alone forever. He needs someone with him. That's why she's not here now, right? Look, I understand. I get it. You're frustrated. But you need to figure out where to go from here. Okay. Let's get this over with. You seem like you're in a hurry to, like, leave already. What do you want to do? I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? He never cared about me. So why should I care about him? You were always his favorite. I wasn't even the favorite. You were just a problem child from the beginning. Of course I was a problem child, but only because I was trying to get his attention because he was Here they are, my two beloved sons. <laughs> I'm surprised they even had time to make it. Of course it's not a big deal, just their old geese are dying. But I have to give them credit. They made it. Even Michael, who was always so busy. Yeah, haven't seen him in a while. Of course, John is no better. Giving me a phone call whenever he remembered. Or whenever his wife made him do it. You know, it's time like this you realize that you've done something wrong in your life. As I look into the rise, I see madness and, and anger. But I don't realize why. Are they angry at me? I did the best I could. I mean, you truly don't understand the times why people could be so problematic. I guess I wasn't there for them as much as I should have been. I wasn't there when they took their first steps. I wasn't there when their first tooth came out. I wasn't there to talk to them on their first day back from school. But am I to blame? I did my best to provide for them. I gave them the best education possible. They always had what they wanted. But probably that was my biggest mistake. They always had what they wanted. And there is Michael. Michael was always a problem child of the family. Even when he was younger, he didn't play with his brother. He never told me his problems. He was always more silent, more ugly, more displeased with what I did. He seemed to have a, a hatred for me. I remember when he was younger, I would take him to the park. And as I went to the park, he was still very, very distant. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I'm here and they're there. Their lives will continue, their families will grow, their children will become just like they are right now. And one day they'll be in my shoes, or should I say, my bed sheet. It's kind of funny, you know. When I was alive, 
The loneliness was my biggest fear. But now I'm not scared. The thing I'm the most scared about is what happened to me right now. <laughs> I just realized that the worst thing in life is not how you die or seeing the things you see. It's not your children being the way they are. It's you. The reason they are this way is because of me. It's my fault. And they pay me back right now. I can see that they don't care. And I can understand why. That's my biggest failure. I guess I'm ready. Nothing else to hold me here. Nothing else other than hearing my own two children being the way they are and knowing that it was all my fault.